Hi guys and girls and welcome back to Chess Choice. Four songs have been chosen last night for the Eurovision Song Contest in Tel Aviv. I'm shooting all these videos in a row, so I'm not sure what the sound quality is like. If you can't hear me well enough in these videos, there are always subtitles that you can turn on. I'm sure that will help. In this video I'll be talking about Slovenia, but you find my reviews about Estonia, Croatia and Latvia up here if you're interested. As always, this is just my personal opinion. I feel like I have to emphasize that again because of the backlash I got for the videos about Australia and Italy. This is just what I think, not necessarily what the majority thinks. So now let's talk about Slovenia that chose Sala Kralic and Gaspar Santi with Sebi. I'll start with the positive again. Slovenia clearly took a risk with this song. It's completely different than anything we got so far and probably also than what's still to come. It's in their national language, which is always a positive sign for me, and it's not what Eurovision typically sounds like. It's very minimalistic and there's a melancholy around the song and the performance that makes it interesting. It lives in its own bubble and it's surely something that I will remember. But what is bad? I was excited to see a duet, so I was a bit disappointed that Gasper doesn't sing at all. I think a second voice would give the song a whole other layer that at the moment is missing. The minimalistic style that on one hand makes the song interesting also makes it very monotonous. It's three minutes of the two of them staring at each other and kind of awkwardly holding hands. I guess it would help to understand what they are singing about, but that won't be the case for the vast majority of the viewers. I really appreciate Slovenia taking a risk, but I'm not sure yet whether it will pay off. So what would I do? Even though I love that they chose to sing in Slovenian, they might want to take into consideration to add at least a few English lines to make people understand what's going on. I would also add a male backing vocal that we don't have to see on stage to keep the simplicity of the performance, but I think that would add an audible element that gives the song more depth than it has right now. Overall, I think they do a lot of things right. It's just about putting some details here and there that help to build an even more outstanding atmosphere. So is it a top or a flop? I think it surely deserves to qualify because, it's, because it is so special. Is it something I want to listen to all the time? Not as it is, because it's right on the borderline of becoming boring. But that might change if they do a slight revamp to add more depth. Overall, I'm not sure if the risk will pay off, as long as they don't think about how they could connect more to the viewers at home. But I'm definitely excited to see them perform in Tel Aviv. But what do you think? Are you happy with Slovenia's choice? What would you change about it? Tell me in the comments below. And again, if you'd like to see my reviews for the other three songs that were chosen last night, you find them all up here. For now, thank you so much for watching and I see you soon. Bye.